Hey guys, so my name's Kenzie, I'm Kenzie C, and this is my first ever video on YouTube, so I just wanted to introduce myself and uh, let you guys know who I am, and I thought my first video that I did would be the TMI tag, because that way you get to know me a little better, being my first video and all, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to read the questions off my phone, so if I'm looking at my phone a lot, that's why, I'm sorry, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first question is, what are you wearing? And I'm wearing this leotard thing because I like tucking them into pants, skirts. I just think they're really nice and convenient. It's from a random store and a random brand. I actually cut the tag off, so I don't know where it's from. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but it's just a plain black leotard. It was like five bucks. Um, my bralette is just from Victoria's Secret Pink. It's just a little crisscross one. And I like it a lot. Um, then for pants, I'm wearing these swishy pants, which I'll show you. They're just swishy pants from American Eagle. They're just super duper comfy. And um, I like them a lot. And I wear swishy pants like all the time. So definitely a staple for me. Second question is, have you ever been in love? And yes, I have. I'm still currently in love. It is um, my boyfriend. He's right over there. And right over there. So yeah, pretty in love. Um, number three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? No, I have not. I've actually never had a breakup, so that answers that for you. How tall are you? I'm 5'5", five five, so pretty average, you know. Could be taller, could be shorter, but I like 5'5", five five, just chilling in the middle. Um, how much do you weigh? I weigh about 100 pounds. Yes, I have a very fast metabolism, but it will catch up with me one day, so I'm just 100 pounds right now. Um, any tattoos? No, I do not. I'm, I don't even want tattoos. If you have tattoos, you like tattoos, that's cool. I, I like them on other people. I just don't want to put one on me because I'm so indecisive. I don't even know what I want to eat for lunch in 10 minutes from now, but, so I can't really commit to a whole entire tattoo. Um, so yeah. Any piercings? Yes, I do. I have 11 piercings, which I will show you really quickly. I have three piercings on my bottom lobes. I only have one in right now, but I have one, two, three, and then four, five, six on that side. And then on this side, I have my tragus right there. Sorry about this lighting. Ugh. And then I have my cartilage up here. And I actually have my double cartilage, but that one's not in right now. And then over here, I just have my forward helix on this ear. And then I also have my belly button pierced. So that's my 11th piercing. Uh, next question is OTP. Chuck and Blair. There's no other one true pair. It is just Chuck and Blair. Favorite show? Ooh, Gilmore Girls. I love Gilmore Girls. I binge watched it in about like a month, a month and a half. I just want to be part of their family. I just, I am Lorelai Gilmore. Like me and Starbucks is like Lorelai Gilmore and Luke Steiner coffee. Like I am Lorelai Gilmore in that way. Uh, who are your favorite bands? I don't really listen to like bands, like I, I don't really like download albums or anything or like listen to bands, but I like MKTO a lot. I think they're like a boy band. They just pop up on Pandora a lot when I'm getting ready and I jam out and I like songs I could jam out to, so I like MKTO a lot. Something you miss? I miss my best friend. She lives two hours away from me because we used to go to college together. But I transferred colleges, so now I live back home, and she still lives up there in school. So yeah, I miss her a lot. She's like my other half. Like We, we would spend literally 75 hours together in a row and not get tired of each other. It was crazy. Who could not get tired of me? She is the only one. So I miss her quite a lot. Uh, favorite song? Right now I like Classic Man. I don't really know who sings it. I just jam out to it a lot. And uh... Hood Go Crazy. That song is pretty cool too, so I like that one a lot. And So, those are just a couple of my favorite songs. Also, Stitches by Shawn Mendes. I, I don't know why I like that song. I just jam out to it a lot. Jam out songs are my favorite. How old are you? I am 20 years old. Zodiac sign. I'm a Gemini. Quality you look for in a partner. I look for people who are funny, people who will be random and spontaneous because I like to go out at like 3 in the morning and go get food from IHOP or McDonald's or like anywhere like I'm just really spontaneous. Also 
if you don't surf the carts like out of the store through the parking lot I don't know what you're doing with your life because that's like the best part about gro going grocery shopping like grocery shopping might be stressful but like just surfing the cart out of the parking lot is like the best thing so if, if you don't surf carts out of parking lots like I, I can't talk to you what is your favorite quote? I think it's by Babe Ruth. It was in a Cinderella story on the side of the wall in the diner, if you know what I'm talking about. And it just says, never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. And I like that a lot. I find it so true. And when I need inspiration, I just remember that. Who is your favorite actor? I don't really have a favorite actor, but my favorite actress is Melissa McCarthy. She's hilarious in Gilmore Girls. She was hilarious in The Heat. She she made me laugh so hard, and, like, she made that my favorite movie. I just love Melissa McCarthy. Favorite color? I like a light lavender sort of color. I don't know. I just find it very calm, and I like purples, but I don't like crazy purples. I like light pastel lavender purple a lot. So if I ever paint my nails, that's the one color I paint my nails. Loud music or soft? Definitely loud. I'm the person... Sorry, my cat's just chilling right there, but... I'm the kind of person that likes to turn the music up way too loud, roll the windows down, and just jam out and just drive. And uh, my cat is just chilling. His name's Jax. Hi, Jax. He's just a little tuxedo cat, but he's always in my room because I'm his favorite human and he's my favorite cat. Where do you go when you're sad? I go right here in my room because I have my cat, or I have my makeup, or I have my clothes, just... My computer, my Netflix is in here, so I pretty much come to my room. Or I go to Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A food makes me sit, like happy instantly. Or I go to my boyfriend. How long does it take you to shower? About 10 minutes. I don't like taking forever, but like, gotta get it done. So, you know, like 10 minutes. Um, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, since I shower at nighttime, I it only takes me like 30 minutes to get ready in the morning because I just do my hair and makeup. And also, I eat food, which takes like 20 minutes, so like close to an hour, but my face and my hair takes like 30 minutes. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, I have been close, but it has not happened. It was just like a verbal fight, and there was a person between us making sure we didn't hit the other people. So it was all good, almost a physical fight, but we avoided that. And other things probably that would have happened if we would have gotten in a physical fight. Um, that was in college, by the way. Uh, turn-ons, I like people who are funny, people who don't take things too seriously, people who like food, people who, like, don't care how much food I like because I like a lot of food, I have to eat food a lot, like, all the time. Turn-offs, people who aren't motivated because I'm a really big motivation person, if you're not motivated to do anything, you're not going to do anything and you're just going to be where you are forever. So I definitely, like, if you don't have goals or motivation, like, I, I can't talk to you. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, well, I'm joining YouTube today with this first video because I've been watching videos for like three or four years and everybody seems to have so much fun with it and I've always wanted to do it so I just thought why not have fun and join everybody else and get a bunch of internet friends because that sounds like fun. What are your fears? I'm not afraid of bugs, so that's a plus. I used to be afraid of bugs, but ever since I moved into this apartment with my sister, my older sister... I've had to kill lots of bugs, so I've gotten over that fear, and uh, now I'm not afraid of bugs, but I'm afraid of getting in a car crash, because it, it's just really scary because anybody else can run into you and crash into you, so it's not just you driving safe, it's like counting on everybody else to drive safe so that nobody else gets hurt, which I don't like because I don't like having to rely on other people to do what they're supposed to do. Um, I'm also scared of people like breaking in to my house, well, apartment, because when I was little, I don't know if it was a dream or if it was real life, I don't know what it was, but I was in, like, second grade, and I heard some guy, like, tapping on my window, and it woke me up, so I woke up, walked over to my window, looked out my window, which you probably shouldn't do if you, like, hear people knocking on your window, because that's probably what they want you to do, so you probably shouldn't do that, but I just walked over there, and I saw a guy jumping over our fence, like, out of our backyard, and so I ran and told my mom, and she's like, you're probably just dreaming. Just go back to sleep. And so, I don't know if it was a dream or real life or not, but, like, it was pretty scary. So, now I can't live on the first floor. I have to live on the second or third floor. 
Um, last thing that made you cry, this video I watched on Facebook. It is, if you know what I'm talking about, it's the one where this guy has a wife and she's going blind and she wants to walk to work every day because she doesn't want him to help her. But he, like, follows her to work every day to make sure she gets to work safe. And I just, like, tears. Tears and tears. Um, last time you said you love somebody last night. Uh, meaning behind your YouTube name. It's my name. Last book you read, I don't read books. So I don't remember. Probably when I was assigned for school. It's probably either, like, The Great Gatsby. Yeah, I think it was probably The Great Gatsby. Uh, book you're currently reading, I don't read books. Last show you watched, One Tree Hill, because that's what I'm on right now on Netflix. Uh, last person you talked to, uh, Kenzie. She's my best friend. She lives um, farther away from me now because she just moved, but she's the last person I talked to. I lost my questions. Oh, there they are. Uh, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Kenzie, she's my best friend. She's Kenzie, I'm Kenzie, we're Kenzie and Kenzie. Whenever we go get food together and like they ask for a name for the order, we just say Kenzie's because we think we're cute and we are, so it's all good. Uh, what is your favorite food? Potatoes. I, I love potatoes, you can do anything with a potato. You can make it into a potato pancake, which I've done, they're actually pretty good. You can make them into hash browns, you can make them into tater tots, you can make them into french fries, you can make them into baked potatoes, which I love because I also love bacon. Or you can make them into chili cheese fries, you can make them into like anything. I also love chicken strips. I eat chicken strips almost every single day because I have the palate of a five-year-old. And I still try to order off the kids meal and they tell me no, so I have to get the big kid chicken strips now. So, place you want to visit. Greece. I feel like it would just be so beautiful with all the waters everywhere and the like white buildings. It would just be really pretty and like serene and calm. So I definitely want to go to Greece at some point in my life. Last place you were. Baskin Robbins because I got a crown earlier today. Not the princess kind, the, the sad tooth kind. So I went to go make my teeth happy so I just went and got some ice cream. Do you have a crush? Yes, I do. It's on that guy right there. He's pretty cool. I like him a lot. Last time you kissed somebody? Yesterday. Last time you were insulted? Don't really remember. Probably in high school when I cared about what people said about me. But now I don't really care what people say about me because I just don't care. So I probably haven't been insulted since like high school. Favorite flavor of sweet? Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. Enough said. Um, what instruments do you play? None. Except the recorder. I, I'm pretty good at the recorder. Like, I could probably beat anybody in a recorder contest because I still have my red recorder from elementary school and I'm pretty good at it. I mean, Hot Crust Buns is my favorite, but I mean, if you have any any songs you want me to play, I, 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 can, I can just try to do it, you know? Uh, favorite piece of jewelry? I don't really wear jewelry a lot except for like stud earrings in my ears because that's just like what I wear every single day. But um, I have a piece of sentimental jewelry that my father gave to me and it's just right here. And it's a, um, it's a little wrap bracelet because he's in the military so he's been to Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and Afghanistan a couple of times to each of those places. And he just brought this back for me one time because we would send him care packages and he would send us care packages and it was pretty cool so I just like that a lot my cat's trying to eat it but yeah so it's just really sentimental and it just means a lot to me so last sport you played track but I wasn't really into track so probably say cheerleading because I did cheerleading and track last song you sang bad blood the remix one, you know, like the good one that's on the radio. I, I, I like that one a lot. So I sang that on the way home, eating my ice cream with my tooth hurting. So yeah, that's what happened. Uh, favorite pickup line. Looks like you're a nine and I'm the one you need. I just find it so funny. Don't know why. Have you ever used it? No, I have not. I wish I had though because I, I feel like that's a pretty good one. 
feel like it's pretty good. I, I feel like you could definitely like get somebody with that one. Um, last time you hung out with anyone, yesterday I hung out with my friend Crimson. And we tried to go to the pool, but it was closed. We just got food, and it was cool, and she's pretty cool, too. She's like the blonde to my brunette, you know, you feel? Okay. Um, who should answer these questions next? All of you guys, because it's my first video, and um, so if you just want to answer these questions, just go ahead, do it, answer it. It's fun. I just did it, I promise. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching my first ever video. Hope you guys liked it, found me a little funny, something like that, you know, the huge. Um, as always, what they always say here on YouTube, like or leave nice comments below because who likes mean comments? Nobody. So I'm just going to go make some chicken strips now. So hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later in my next video. Thank you. Bye guys.